Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about installing Kentera. So before Kentera, installing Kentera, I want to talk about Conda. So Conda is very useful because it allows you to switch between two, two versions of Kentera. So if you install Kentera 2.4 for your A project and 2.5 for B project, you can use it to switch it easily. And there's a video here, you can check out the information. And then next, we're going to look at the comparison requirements. So before you install Kentera, uh, you want to download other software and uh, that is used by Kentera. And we want to do this because we want to compile Kentera from the source code so you can make modification, not just using Python itself. So you can follow the website here to the Kentera website. And Kentera did a very good documentation on guiding you how to successfully in install Kentera. So we can just follow here. So I already installed Conda. If you haven't installed Conda, just go to Conda page and install it. And once you install Conda, you can check uh, the version, Conda uh, version, and then you can show. And then after that, you're going to type here the command to create your environment uh, with the dependency to build Kentera. So here the name is Kentera, but definitely you can choose your own name uh, for your different project. So I already did that. And some other optional software here is, is very good because this is uh, required to build the documentation of Kentera. So it's very useful when you do coding, you can check uh, the relationship between different classes and different functions, etc. So once you've done that, um, we're going to need to configure it, the installation. Yeah, so to configure the installation of Kentera, first you need to know the path to Kentera install folder. And I did this by typing conda info invis. And you can see my Kentera uh, is, is under this one. Yeah, so um yeah so you because you want to configure the uh um the compile compilers to also then they know uh where to install Kentera uh in a specific uh, environment for example if you uh, put it here then it will be installed under this environment but if you put this one it will be installed under this environment yeah i think that's what it means so I can show you the, so once you inside the Kentera folder, you can see this uh, Kentera conf. If not, we can build our own and just easily use nano kentera.conf. Yeah. And this one, um, you can see uh, we set up to be the standard stand. It's, it's that the, we also have the prefix set up to be the uh, environment. Yeah, I think that no one's automatic set, but if you want, you can also type that one. And once you do that, you can type exit and then click yes to save it. Yeah. So once you do that, you can you can just type scons build. And just show you here quickly. It will because I already built it, so it's very fast. If it's first time, it might take some time, like five minutes. And then type install. Um, prefix equal to dollar sign conda prefix. And then this will successfully install your the Kentera, the version you like, under the environment you like. So it's easy for you to switch. And so I'm going to talk about uh, GitHub. So uh, to get the source code Kentera that you want to compile, you want to go to GitHub. And for my project, you can go to uh, under Kentera under Bangshu, and this is uh, the, the the link. If you want to go to the to the developer version, you go to Kentera Kentera. And once you go there, you can click the code here, and then just copy it, 
and you can type git clone I mean not under here but usually I go up and then you can type git clone and then the the uh, link you have and once you click that you will see in your folder this Kentera being downloaded and then you can CD into the folder yeah and then do the installation under this one so all the all these uh, procedures you have to do under in the Kentera folder that I just uh, uh, mentioned so that's the brief introduction to Kentera, Kentera installation hopefully you can follow this procedure and successfully install Kentera the version you want